faces just can't get enough, and they're going to get more with game number five tonight. They are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. The checkers start with the puck in their own end. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Kabarov's has got a hold of the puck. Here comes the official's decision. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to head to the box for two. away it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here first power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one well you can't do that you're gonna find your way marching over to the box there's the whistle let's get the call for the officials running the interference plays is part of the game but you can't impede the forward progress of your opponent that's a two minutes interference call Puck set to drop. We've got some four-on-four four coming up. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Oh, you got to love the effort as he blocks that. Moscow's ready to go on the attack. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Unable to reach that one. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Let's see what the official says here. Well, this is what happens when you start to chase the game and find yourself looking to get better to position, and it's the slashing call. They're cracking down on it. Two-minute minor. Just a few more seconds now for this penalty-killing unit here as this four-on-three man advantage continues. Well, the face of alignment on this four on three is get a quick shot off with that setup, and you can see that they're going to have someone drive the lane on the opposite side as well. Sends it out in front, and it's blocked. Here's a chance, and he gets in front of that. Oh, what a block! He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. And time expires on the. He's got a little. The power play only has time for one more rush here. Time is of the essence. You got to get the puck up ice quickly, and you have to gain entry fast. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. In the final moments of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. The checkers win the defensive zone faceoff. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Moves it to Kapusta. It's in the back of the net. He scores! I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Kabarovsk's got to be feeling good about getting that goal here late in the first, Cheryl. Yeah, I like the energy that they created for their bench. Even before the goal, James, they started to pressure. And that's something that I noticed. There was a change late in the first. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Pokes it away in his own end. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh. We'll get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two.
We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Moscow's trailing in this game because they haven't had any urgency around the puck. They've been chasing the game and they haven't had any possession time. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Kabarovsk's in now. With the stop. I thought he had it, but they're, they're saying it's a goal now. That's in the net. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front. Goaltender can't find it. And guess what? It's in the back of the cage. The Rivermen have extended their lead to two goals here in this second period. And they have put on a show tonight thus far. Oh, uh, yeah. When they're in the offensive zone, it's like it's rapid fire, James. I mean, they have just owned the puck and they found a way to find the lanes. They've been outstanding, creative, and they're getting it done there. The checkers played along the boards. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Kabarovsk's gained possession along the boards. Let's see what the officials are calling. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. here on the man advantage. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. The checkers win it in the defensive zone. And he takes the dish. Moves it to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. Takes it at center. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. The Rivermen have been penalized for tripping. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Slip feed. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Penalty expires, and the PP unit gets set to go to work. Well, the power play had a ton of ozone possession time, but it was all perimeter, and they didn't find ways to move the coverage. It was easy as a... Well, well that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. He needs to find a way to manage his emotions here because they're creeping into his game. That's a second penalty he's taken this period. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Came up with a nice save. Drogue's got control of the puck in the corner. Kabarovsk's got it in their own zone. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. He was totally locked in on that play. Sends a pass over. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Quick pass to Broadhurst. Drives it to the crease. And that one stopped. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Well past the midway mark of this period, Kabarovsk's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Moscow's won the faceoff. Oh, and he stopped that rocket. Quick pass across to Nesterov. Oh, did you hear that off the bar? And look at this. They turned this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Takes a shot. He scores. And does he ever. You know what's amazing, James? Every 
time he scores, it's like the entire bench elevates. Why? Because he is a leader on this team. He shows it on the ice and, of course, by example, off of it. Oh, he's such a leader, James. I mean, it's an infectious energy when he scores and the entire team is looking to him. The bench absolutely explodes. Now, all of a sudden, the momentum is in their favor, all started by their fearless leader. Moscow's goal late here in period number two has given them new life here late. They'll need to take that life and re-energize themselves, but it's been all about good habits, not getting frustrated at the score, finding a way to put it in. They just did it. Puck picked up in the open ice. Moscow's got the puck. Throws it in. The Rivermen have the puck in their own end. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up. <sighs> Players are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. And he can't hang on after that hit. From one point man to another. Here he is in close! Fantastic save! Bobkov dialed in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop! Across the line! The checker scheme control the puck against the wall. Takes the feed. Big play inside the defensive zone. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Moscow's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves the puck. Incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, but he seems to do it every single time. Kabarovsk's won the draw in the neutral zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Drop save, and he handles it with ease. Shemich is lugging the puck. Kabaros has crossed the line and on the attack. Shot! Oh, a spectacular save right there! Wow! Unbelievable! I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. These moments within a game, James, it's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. you got to play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Kabarovsk's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Driving right to the front! Kabarovsk's got the puck against the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. And he takes the feed. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Takes it to the net! And that's 
broken up. From the point. Takes the puck along the boards. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to put. Desperately trying to get it out of the end. Past the midway mark of the frame. We got a tie game. Kabarovsk's won the draw in the neutral zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. Scores! Oh, what a finish! Too sweet! Well, the reaction on the bench, it says it all, James. I, I mean, this is their fearless leader who provides a ton of energy to this group. The timeliness of the goal, the energy that he brings, it encapsulates what he means to this team. Well, timing is everything, and this guy knows that he needs to be an emotional barometer for this team, and that goal sends a jolt right through the entire bench. You can see them all up on their feet. They got some newfound energy now. Kabarovsk's got up by one here in this third period. A great spot to be in. You have the lead at the end of the third period. You got to find a way to hold it, though. And you don't want to play too conservative. The reason why you got the goal is you were aggressive and on your toes. Takes a shot. Off the glove when the puck skips away. Got it. Scores! They've tied it up here with a timely goal in the third. Well, with their match up against the wall, they decide to turn the tides and put on the press, if you will, James, and they get the equalizer. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well and the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. The checker's last goal, Cheryl. Huge. It is massive, isn't it? And the timing is impeccable. Right at the end of the game, you find a way to get the equalizer. And this really puts the opponent on their heels. It tightens up their sticks. So they have to attack and find a way to get to the net. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry and you skate in practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution, and it winds up as a goal. Moscow's on their way to victory if they can hold down this lead through the rest of the third. Well, it's all about game management, but they can't just sit back and hold on. Otherwise, their opponent, they will look to attack and they will take advantage. Put them back on their heels. Be in the offensive zone where they can't get an opportunity to attack you. Into the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle. And it's blocked. And it's a quick pass to Nesterov. further than the leader on this team who buries at home. I mean, he has got ice in his veins, and he knows the timing. When his team needs something, they look to him, and he answers. Here in the late going of the frame, Moscow's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing. Coming up with the puck. Takes the puck. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Kabarovsk's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Carries it in. Scores into the empty net. Governor, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. This guy's on the back end. I didn't have hands. So when I scored one, this nice celebration. And I was down in hell. He's pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. Now you can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here, as that should do it. Kabarovsk's got to start to recognize a sense of urgency here. They continue to trail late in the third, and have had plenty of chances, but can't finish. Puck picked up by Lee. Kabarovsk's on the attack. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. A 
officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. And with the victory, now just one win away from closing out this series, Cheryl. Yeah, and there's two chains of thought here. I mean, you're up 3-2, and you know you're so close to getting through the series and clinching, but yet you're still far and you do not want to allow your opponent in and force a game seven. Gotta love playoff time. Everything matters, every moment, every play. And we will see you at the next game from all of us here at EA Sports. Cheers.